golden night when the full moon is bright comes a horseman known as Zorro. This bold renegade carves a Z with his blade, a Z that stands for Zorro. Zorro, the fox so cunning and free. Zorro, who makes the sign of the Z. <laughs> Visit as long as you like, Don Diego. <laughs> it is surprising to find you in such good spirits, Father. Why should I not be? Monastario could not have treated us better. And the doctor has made me almost well again. We have been served the finest of foods. <laughs> that chicken is to be our supper. And I've had a pleasant visit with my friend Nacho. And my wife and my daughter have been released, uh, with the explanation from the Capitan that they were merely held as hostages until my return. I will join them after the trial. I'm worried about that trial. You know what justice you can expect from Monastario. <laughs> you have no cause for worry, my son. Diego, when I surrendered myself to the governor, I told him the truth. He sent me back here under arrest with orders to Monastario that I was to be tried on the 14th, which is tomorrow. I know. Ah, but what you do not know is that the chief magistrate of Monterrey, Judge Vasca, will arrive to preside at the trial. Who is an honest and respectable gentleman, the personal envoy of the governor. And with Judge Vasca presiding, the commandante's false charges will melt away. It would not surprise me if, as a result of the trial, Capitan Monastario found himself in official disfavor. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, Garcia. Si, Capitan. Here. For a man facing official disfavor, Capitan Monastario does not appear too uneasy. Ah. <laughs> Do we dare go through with it? The governor himself gave the order. There were two communications. Si. One, an order to try Torres and his fellow conspirators on the 14th. The other, a notice that Judge Vasco would arrive on the 14th and to cooperate with him fully. But the chief judge must preside at the trial if he's in the area. Exactly. But Judge Vasco will not be in the area. And by the time he arrives, the trial will have been concluded. And the bodies of Torres and Alejandro de la Vega will be evidence that justice has been done. But will Sergeant Garcia be a party to such a thing? Sergeant Garcia knows nothing. You heard what I told him? That we need more time to prepare a welcome for Judge Vasca and to delay him until noon tomorrow. Will he not put together the trial and delaying the judge? Uh, Sergeant Garcia could not put together two pieces of bread to make a sandwich. Well, Sergeant, off in pursuit of Zorro again, eh? Not this time, Don Diego. I'm going to San Fernando to bring Judge Vasca back to the trial. You play your part well, Bernardo. Even I can't catch you. Oh, Sergeant Garcia is under orders to escort Judge Vasca here. And Capitan Morastario insists on a fair trial. <laughs> I do not believe it either. But I agree with him. Judge Vasca does need an escort. <laughs> Where is Noche, Sergeant? Has Judge Vasca arrived yet? Not yet, but he is expected. You have been selected to perform a service for Capitan Munostario. Oh, no, Sergeant, please. My tavern is yours. Tell him we're closing. The Commandante is preparing a reception for Judge Vasca, so it is necessary to delay the judge until tomorrow morning. I cannot keep him here if he does not wish to stay. Judge Vasca is noted for his appetite. You will prepare a banquet the like of which you have never served before. See. Si. I thought this was San Fernando. Well, it is, but it is practically the same thing. Permit me. I am Sergeant Demetrio Lopez Garcia at your service. 
the, the Capitan Monasterio has assigned me to make pleasant your journey from here to Los Angeles. Ah, splendid. The, the horses will be changed by the time you have rested. Actually. Oh, I have no intention of resting. I have a trial to attend in the morning. But surely you will take time for a little refreshment. No, thank you. No, I shall dine in Los Angeles. But the Excellency, this is the tavern of the Golden Goose, renowned for its food. Well, really? Tell me, do you eat here, Sergeant? Whenever possible. <laughs> then perhaps just a bite. Notify me immediately, the horses are ready. Certainly, Excellency, this way, please. This way, Excellency, especially reserved for you. Your cloak. <laughs> a gentle a... brushing to remove the dust. Oh, it is a necessary thing. I do not intend to stay long. Rose water to wash your hands, Excellencia. <laughs> well, really, thank you, my dear. Gracias. It seems that they intend to keep Judge Vasca here all night. When no one is looking, harness the horses to the carriage and bring it here. I will enter through that balcony. Join me there. Proceed to Los Angeles is satisfied. Well, there is nothing like a broiled fowl to whet the appetite. Is Your Honor ready for the rest of the meal? There is more. That is only the beginning. <laughs> Sergeant Garcia is the greatest eater in all of California. Oh, I have no doubt he is the local champion, my dear. But not all California. <laughs> Let's go inside and have a drink to the sergeant. The carriage ready to go. Good. It has developed into an eating contest between Judge Vasca and Sergeant Garcia. Yes, and for the sake of my father and Nacho Torres, we must hope the judge wins. 